Welcome builders Andy is your and welcome to another fortified medieval build on my channel using the 5x5 building system. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, this is a fortified house which you guys seem to like. 276,000 views on YouTube. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your support. This is a fortified farm. So it's a farm. The kind of person who would be a farmer would live at a farm, right? So, this is a place for the farmer, yeah, anyway, and they get on with it. So, there's um, there's farms, as you'd expect. Kind of raised farms, which I'm quite liking. Oh, I didn't plant anything there. We've got a well. Super simple well. Love the well. Um, he's looking kind of sad, but we've got little farmy bits here. Plenty of storage in here. Loads and loads of storage. Should be some more storage in here as well. And what else have we got? Little hoose up here. I haven't done interiors. I don't do interiors very much, but I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. So we've got an interior as well and, and I'm sure there's little bits of space up here where you could have more storages and more floors. So we've got this. I haven't even bothered putting a door in yet. Shocking. And we've got a cool little tower here and you could fashion yourself some access to that as well. So the details are lacking, but the space is here ready for you to play in your own farm. I just look, I just thought, what about if we take this across? So, actually adjusting things as we go. There we go, very unprofessional. <laughs> ah, that could be, this could be done, couldn't it? Let's have these, that's definitely. Let's not make them out of stone. Oh, I'm, I'm playing Minecraft, I'm supposed to be doing a video, Andy, You're supposed to be doing a video. People have tuned in for the tutorial, now they're tuning away, now they're switching off. You've lost like half your audience, you complete plonker. Right, there we go. So, that, that, there we go. That was cool. A little kind of open barn. I like that. That could be, I don't know, where you put your troops for your fortified farm. Anyway, let's clear that inventory and get this built. It's not as difficult as it looks. It's all done in the 5x5 five five building system. 5x5 five five building system. This house up here has no way of getting up to it. That's the only flaw in my plan. No, it does. It does. It does. I put stairs. Oh my goodness. Right, let's get it built. 5x5 five five building system, guys. It looks a bit mojangy, and that is the key. You add detail as, and depth as much as you want. If you, if you like more depth than I've got, then you can do that. Okay, so we need some ingredients. We've got polished Andy's Yoda site. We've got stone brick stairs, Trapidorus Maximus, nether wart block, chisel stone bricks. By the way, this roof here, you could change the roof. I know brick and clay and all that is um is just absolutely nightmare to collect in minecraft by the way i'm, I'm working on a medieval um cathedral five by five and uh, no promises <laughs> it might not might not turn out good anyway uh you want cobblestone stairs slabs ochus fences and stone bricks let's get started okay so i'm gonna start in this bottom corner here i'm gonna go for uh andesite gap andesite and then fill in these gaps with burp, 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 some brown sticks and then andesite, andesite, and then more stone bricks or that. Uh, in fact, it goes like that. There we go. Is that right? Yeah. And then that goes there and nether wart there. So I'll just hold the camera there for a few seconds and you can see exactly what I am doing. Um, so I'm actually going to bring this up here like that and bring this up here like that and there we go cool and that's the basic wall design I just actually moved it along by one brick so it's exactly in line so you can see we've got to do one two three of these a gap of two and then one two three four five six so yeah we need to do more of these so let's uh, speed this up two three <coughs> gonna add in another couple but take them away does that make sense you've got one two three a gap where there would be two more see and then one more there and then we're gonna make that six the second bit is six so it's three two six if you think about it then we turn the corner same design And then we're going to extend this again. Two, three, four, five, six in total. And then we're going to make our little tower on the back corner. Five by five 
Andesite Tower. There we go. There's the basic wall done. Let me just grab that brick there, complete my inventory again. As you can see, you can just count the blocks and that's a lot of repetition. Good luck with that if you're doing it. So we're now onto a little tower, the tower at the back here. I like these little cute little towers in Minecraft. Again, it's five by five. So if you're bored of the wall, now you're going to build the tower. So you need to come up by 15 blocks in total. That's the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> and he falls down. 14, 15. I hope that's 15. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15. Right. Same on the corners. All corners. Up to 15. Ugh, come on. Fly. There we go. We can seal the deal at the top like that. Same down here. And here. Boom, boom. Nice big tower. Around the top of this, we've got upside down little ring of stone brick stairs. On top of that, you can slap a ring of stonus brickus. Give yourself a little bit of a floor as well. You can create a little spot where you might be climbing up the ladder as well if you wish. And on top of this, we're going to put a little um, three, four, five, six. I don't. I can't remember how, how high I made it. Six like that would do for a little flagpole. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So every second block, you can add some little crenellations to the tower as well. So that's the basic tower done. Now the sides, you're going to go alternate, add the zero site all the way up like that. And boop, 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 boop. And then that gets filled in with stone bricks. Now I have done some windows over here. So what, what have I done this? Uh, three blocks, then a window, three blocks, then a window. Okay, so if you want to do that, grab yourself some iron bars. And I've come down. If you want to do exactly the same as me, you don't have to. Three blocks down, one, two, three, three blocks down. And there we go, some little iron bars. So the other three sides need to be done exactly the same. Be right back when that is complete. All done, all done, all done, all done. Uh, another wall. <laughs> if you were sick of this wall design, uh, there's a bit more to do, I'm afraid. That is, that is for sure. So it's the same design as we've been doing all over there. Exactly the same. So let's just get that, oh, that's not right. Get that completed. Let's grab you and bring you across. Boop, 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 boop. That looks right. That looks right. And then you've got your nether warp block right there. So, yeah, we need to do this uh, again. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to wrap the wall along here and background to that corner. So, uh, yeah, let's get that done. Right, well, we can count this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, not 11. That 11's a mistake. Undo that, undo that, undo! And then you've got to do the side ones again. And I think there's eight in total. Is that right? Seven or eight. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. It is seven. Seven, 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 seven. A seven. Now, there's obviously a lot more detail to put onto the wall. We've got kind of a second skin going on in the wall, but I'm sure you're you're bored of wall. you bored of wall. I'm bored of wall. Let's move on and do something different. So what I want to do is place a block. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. Continuing our five by five system like this. See, we want to put these little dots all around here. And here. And we keep on going. We're going to go here. That's quite obviously wrong. Wrong. Boom. See what I mean? A little 5x5 five five grid, we're laying it out here. Same here and here. So we want to come out uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5. Another one like this. Boom. On the outside, we can just fill this in with pretty much any brick you want. I'm just going to go with polished Andy's Yoda site because it's kind of cool. 
like that. Boom, 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 boom. Now you need a floor in here. This is the storeroom. So we're doing the storeroom in the corner here. This is the storeroom right here. Um, any floor you like. I'm going to use a little bit of world edit here. Slash slash fill five one thirty. There we go. Floor filled in. Next, we're going to create a little frame for the bottom of this dwelling. It's like a storeroom, can can storeroom underneath, house on top. Could be where the farmer lives, might not be where the farmer lives, but you want to complete. Yeah, this little. Let's start in this corner here. So you come up here like that, and then do that, and then same over here. Just little four up, three along, three along four up right I've got a quick way of doing this just because I'm making a video and I want to make the video not 10 hours long so you can see I've got a sneaky voxel sniper tip to do that to do 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 that so there we go that's that section there done and quickly off camera I added some upper oak slabs upper oak slabs look kind of mighty fine from underneath Right, same deal in this corner over here where there is another house. This time we want to come out th three of these. Am I getting these in the wrong place? Look, dummy. It goes there. Three blocks. What do we mean three sections? One, two, three sections of this five by five shape. And again, this bit can be filled in with anything. Like that. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm just going to fill this in here with slash slash fill five one thirty and that just gives that little floor like that everything i do when i fill things in honestly it's uh, just to save time in the video it all can be done by hand of course so again we want to make this little grid system here a little five by five construction and once again i'm going to do that very very quickly like this so boom Boom, boom. This is called Voxel Sniper, this little tool here. And it just lets me paste in little creations I've made before. So what I want to do again, uh, like I did over here, is put in a little bit of a floor, like so. And then we're ready to go on to the next floor up. So for the next floor up, we're going to use a little oak frame. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. You don't need to make sound effects. You really, you really don't need to make, make sound effects. Right, uh, so once again, I've got a little tool for doing just that. I need to make this one here. Boom, boop, boop. So that's the simple, 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 easy peasy little five by five frame and again you can give this uh, a little bit of a, a floor like that if you wish now at this stage you can also grab some white concrete and just do this but make little gaps for the window and obviously this goes all the way around on the outside of all those squares now down here at the bottom we can actually get some cobblestone and start to fill these bits in as well. And again, you could leave a little window if you want, like that, where you could maybe put some iron bars since it's the bottom floor. So we've got a number of jobs to do. Um, over here, we've got more of these. Oh, <laughs> when your tool goes wrong, here we go. Uh, yeah, that goes there, 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 there. I need to put you here. Boop, 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 burp. There we go. That is the basic frame. That's the great thing about the 5x5 system. Honestly, it makes videos easy to follow. And if you want to expand this fort, if you, if not this fort, but this fortified farm, you want to expand it in the future, well, it's pretty simple. You just expand it using the 5x5 system and you can add on towers, you can add on extensions, more buildings, whatever you want. So a number of jobs to do, guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do is add in all the walls, which are made of concrete, white concrete. I need to add in all the walls around the bottom here, all through here like that these ones get concrete in them as well so all that needs to be done 
and then I'm going to pause the video here and get that done off camera. What we could also do while we're at it, while we're at it, is we can add in some detail to the windows and I can do that off camera as well. So the details of the windows are some little sneaky little open, do you like that? Isn't it sneaky? Sneaky little open shutters there on the window. So yeah, that needs to be done absolutely everywhere. Let's be right back when that is complete. Okay, let's have a look at what I've done off camera. Hopefully you've done exactly the same sort of thing. Looking all right, isn't it? It's kind of flat, kind of flat, kind of flat, kind of flat. But as you can see, when we add a bit more detail, yeah, it starts to pop out a little bit. Okay, it's roofing time. Don't worry, I'm not going to build these roofs on camera. I'm just going to get started. By the way, brick stairs, hard to come by in survival. I know, very, very difficult. So be, don't be afraid to just change it from brick into something else. And as ever, this is your key block here. Your upside down stairs here and here. Once you get them correct, the rest of this staircase um, roof just builds itself. So I'll just build one end here and you can see exactly how this comes together at the top. So we've got upside down, correct the way up facing out the way and upside down there. That is the roof. You can come up here like that with that and then I've done white over there but I think more correctly it would be better if it was actually just simply Ocus Wurus Plancus in there just to disguise this little bit there. But that's kind of what I did in the fortified house over there. I used stone, then concrete, then wood, and wood up a little bit higher. So that is how to do the roof. That is one end, and all you do is extend this along like that. And exactly the same on the other side. So be right back when the whole roof is done. Good, that is done. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult for you. And again, if you can't get brick, then just do something else. Oh, that's gonna, oh yes, ah. <clears throat> I didn't copy and paste it, honestly. <clears throat> totally caught out. Busted, <clears throat> busted. <laughs> totally busted, right. Spruce wood stairs on this one. So the key blocks are here and here. And it's the same deal. Absolutely the same kind of roof. So I'm just gonna very quickly do the end here. And this actually has another bit to it, this roof, doesn't it? It has an extra bit sticking out, as you can see right here. So the, the first thing to do is to get the first roof done and then you can easily add on the second. So let's get the first roof done again upside down correct the way up and then upside down sticking out like that that is the roof this can be brought up like that and then you can use your oak wood planks here just to fill in these little gaps here gill in your faps there you go pretty cool and then you just you just you just bring it along just bring it along bring it along bring it along Stick it out there, stick it out there. That's what she said. And then put that there, there, there. And yeah, you just keep on going. So I'll show you the end here, how this uh, whole section here works. Again, that bit is gonna be upside down. And then you just put, you're putting in the same roof here. Look, it's the same roof on this little sticky out bit. Again, this can just come up here like that. And you can disguise these bits with just oak. No joke. There. Uh, yeah, this roof just honestly it builds itself. As long as you get these key blocks done there, then really this is just a simple, simple roof. Boom. 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 This bit is exactly the same. Just keep on repeating. You may have your own roof design. Do your own one. I keep doing the same thing. I should really change, but I'm stuck in my ways now. I can't change. I'm stuck in my Minecraft ways. It's terrible. By the way, uh, I didn't mention this bit, did I? This is all slabs on top. Dummy Andy didn't 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 even mention that. So we need some spruce slabs for this roof here. 
and these just come along there like that. Pretty cool. Uh, these are just going to come up here. Nope, like that. Cool, huh? And it just, just hooks in. Ugh, come on, get it right. It hooks in like that. So that's how those roofs join together. And, and again, you've got boom, boom, and slabs that come across. I'm, I'm going over the roofs very quickly. If this is the first video or you're not, not really experienced at Minecraft, this might seem quick and... But honestly, I've been doing roofs so many, much of my videos lately that I really don't want to be doing too much roofage. Otherwise, people who watch a lot of my videos be like, oh no, I'm just doing another roof. <sighs> Rage. So yeah, those bits need to just be extended along and we are a done deal. So I'm gonna pause the video here and complete the rest of these roof bits and be right back when that is done. Right, now we're gonna fill some barms. Uh, you're gonna need some polished anti site, cobblestone, grass or farm block if you've got it, stone bricks and stone brick stairs. Right, so a little farm around the corner here. So again, we're gonna be doing things in five. So one, two, three, boom, one, two, three, boom. It's all on the five by five grid system. You see that lines up here like that. Pretty simple. And then just gill in all your faps like that. And of course, this is going to be um, farm. So grab yourself, you also need a good looking hole. Make yourself a nice farm like that. And then in the farm, I would say make yourself a little path like this. This is something I came up with just to date. A little farm in amongst the, the uh, sorry, a little path in amongst the farm. I think actually looks really, really smart like that. Um, so let's just quickly get this finished. This. You're going to need your bucket of water, obviously, because farms need water, don't they? And they're already changing. They're already on the change. Oh my god, it's like zombies. You never know when they're going to change. Okay. Uh, farm, 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 farm. You can do it like that, or you can get your good looking hole and get busy. Let's just quickly do this farm. I'm not going to do all the farms, I'm just going to show you this one, and then it's up to you to make a farm. So that one sits there in the corner, pure like that. Uh, we've got another farm here. Let's mark it out. So one, two, three, boom. Sorry, boom. Everything joins up on the five by five grid, you see, which I love, I love the five by five grid. Boom, see that lines up, lines up with that one. It's, oh, it's all, it works out, guys. So we need, uh, so this one is three gritty blocks wide, and we can just bring this along like that. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. And this comes up another level. Like that, and so that is where the farm, the farm's gonna be at that level so I'll do that off camera uh, we want another farm in here just a little one this time another farm in there I didn't build these walls up how lazy I didn't even build these walls up you can also put some iron in fact that's going to be a door you can also put some iron bars in these bits I didn't even do that off camera I was supposed to do all this off camera and I didn't even do it Pure shock in that. There, and then that's a door and a farm. So that's a farm, that's an elevated farm. That all needs to get completed. We can actually make a little entrance into the elevated farm. See, this is all gonna be grass like that. A little entrance here. It's up to you what you do. Something like that would do. So we've got farm there, farm there. We also want a farm over in this corner. This one's again going to be three blocks long, so you can see exactly where this goes. One, two, three, block, one, two, three, block, one, two, three, block. Just like that. Pretty straightforward. This one's actually going to be uh, three blocks, three blocks high, which is quite a lot, really. Three blocks high. Boom, 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 boom. So we're actually going to have a farm, a farm in here. This is where it's all going to be farm. 
Okay. Uh, down here we want another farm, and it's going to be on kind of this level again, coming out on the five by five grid. So we can go along to there. This is going to just be two two blocks high like that. Oops. Again, don't forget to water your farm. Probably put water here and here. Same, maybe down here. There's a water block here, it would be fine. There we go. And then one more farm uh, down here. This just comes out again on the five by five grid. Should line up right here. Okay. And that gets made into farm as well. So the, one of the last jobs we're going to do is make a little staircase up here. And the staircase is going to go here. A little staircase up to the farm. So I'm going to use cobblestone here just to fill in these little gaps here. And go underneath the stairs like that. Cool. So let me uh, get all these farms planted and finished off. And I'll be right back when that is complete okay uh, so our farms are done complete so we've got this little building at the back here kind of a storage shed kind of an open shed I, I like it I like this design so I'm really happy with it let's create some kind of little foundations for it so it's a little five by five again once again it's all five by fives um, I actually feel that these bits in here should be cobblestone to be honest these little Three by three sections or three wide sections would be would be nice if they were all cobblestone like that. So yeah, and then this could be stone brick. So one, two, three, four, like that. And I think that's that's fine. We'll bring this across. One, two, th three, like that. That one can go like that. Hmm. Yeah, and then one, two, three. So yeah, these bits can just get filled in with cobble go so I'm making a little gap here because this is this is where my oak is going to go and if the oak kind of just digs down in I think that looks fine so we want to do the same thing on the other side so um, let's bring this block up a couple we'll put stone brick on top I don't know why why have I done it like that but anyway it's done now it's done now it doesn't matter too much does it put a cobble along there and I think I went for this this four highs. The foundations are one, and then one, two, three, four. Yeah, that, that works out nicely, and then you can put your wood there. So basically, it's just two blocks of five. Two, a wall that's nine wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two fives, but they share a block in the middle, so it's, it's, it's nine. It's nine, I tell you. Okay, uh, so this is, yeah, this is where we're gonna have this kind of thing going on apart from at the back because at the back you don't you don't need them right you don't need them you don't need those at the back yeah because the roof just comes down and swings in so uh what ingredients do you need for this <laughs> i didn't run by them i just i just had them in my hand miraculously so this section you need andesite polished stone bricks uh oak and cobble spruce fence oak wood stairs spruce fence gate cobblestone wall and stone bricks there. Should have run by that on the start when I'm doing this section. Hopefully you can kind of just see exactly what I'm doing, what I'm doing here. Should be pretty straightforward. I don't even think I need that. Do I need these? I don't even need these. These these are these are redundant on the side. This can come up and this can come up. That is for sure. In fact, that can be four high. I don't think it's just a question of putting on the roof. Now, what I did bring was this stone along here like that and a little cobblestone effort coming up here like that with a couple of upside dunes like that that's all right and then as you saw on the, the, the start of the video i was having fun putting in some kind of just raftery beams rafter beams beams rafters they hold up your roof anyway there we go uh and then it's it's uh what time is it it's roof time again stick your roof out by one and just go ahead and put the roof on so i'm going to skip over this roof building because it's really getting a bit tedious 
keep on going. I'll, I guess I'll do the end bit of roof here. I'll definitely do this bit here. I like to do, do this bit on camera. Boom, boom, boom. So I can show you exactly where this roof finishes off here. Hopefully this is all doable. Like that. So the roof finishes there, as you can see, right onto that bit of wall there. Good, good, good. I just realized that there's some, some kind of sticky up bits on the roof here, which you can do just means adding on another slab here and there. I'm sure you've got some good ways of finishing off your roofs at the top as well. That's a very, very, very easy one. So yeah, this roof needs to get ext extended, expanded all the way along. Okay, so that's the roof. It's really easy. Uh, be right back when the roof is complete. Oh, one thing you can do is put in some spruce stairs here. That just finishes things off quite nicely on the inside like that. Okay, be right back when the roof is done. A few more things to do to this roof. Um, so come up one, two, get to the third level, come in three, one, two, three, and then we're gonna take out these blocks and put in some spruce wood fences. And just a little bit of ventilation in the roof. I like it. Same. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom, boom. And I like this design. You can do the exact same thing on the other side if you wish. Okay, so I think it's time to add in uh, some wall detail and some floor detail. Uh, and then we're pretty much, pretty much done. We've also got a little bit of detail to put on the houses as well in terms of gates and little bits of frilly bits and a flag to put on yeah not bad not bad we're getting there we're getting there right so yeah these walls need a bit more detail well here are the ingredients by the way you might come up with your own detailing of the wall and that that is fine do you know what something's bothering me hold on before we do this look office it'd be much much better probably you were probably crying out for that to be done that is 10 times 10 times better look Oh, improvements. I love it. Right, uh, down here. So for the wall details, we're going to need some oak wood slabs, spruce fences, cobblestone slabs, stairs and blocks, Trapidoris maximus, chisel stone bricks, oak fence and oak wood. So get that into your hot bar. I'll just quickly run through it on the screen like that. Okay, and let's get building. So. Uh, so right here, we're simply going to come up four cobblestone. One, two, three, four. Same on this bit. One, two, three, four. Right like that. Uh, we're going to go upside down cobblestone stairs there and there. Either side of the Trapidorus Maximus, which disguises the red nether wart block. And then on top of that, we're going to go chiseled. Upside down. Boom. Boom. With a slab sticking out there and there. And then down below, we're going to go cobblestone in the way, in the way, and slab. And that is actually it. So, yeah, that needs to get repeated. I'll just do one more very quickly. That needs to get repeated um, absolutely everywhere around the whole build. Yeah. Good luck, guys. It is not... Not for the faint heart you're making something that looks good in Minecraft. Sometimes, sometimes it takes a while. So yeah, that needs to get repeated on all the sections where you've got a red dot. Now on top of this, we can add a little bit of detail. You need to go there and there, and then just put yourself a little bit of a fence. Boop, 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 boop. So the fence you should center on your chiseled block. So yeah, that needs to get wrapped around the whole build. Be right back when, uh, yeah, that is done. There we go, that is wrapped around the whole build. Now, I have realized in the video, as I'm recording this, I've made a bit of a mistake. I haven't done the back. <laughs> um, so, sorry, I'm gonna do the back in a second, but the other mistake, the other mistake, my goodness, is this bit here. This, this whole thing is too long. It's too long, so sorry about this. This is a definite mistake. I don't often make them, but it's too late to go back and fix it, unfortunately. Um, that's too big. So look, what I mean is that bit is not meant to be there. This whole house is meant to be back one 
block so I'm really really sorry if you're copying but you're gonna have to move this back by one block now I'm very lucky to have world edit and I can do that and I'm really really sorry if you can't do this so easily and I just really messed this up but um, I'll never get a video out this weekend if I don't yeah I'm gonna have to just do this with world edit slash slash move for I really really apologize for this mistake guys but I would never get a video out this weekend if I went and re-recorded everything I have done since my mistake so that yeah that is like that now huh, let's just continue pretend that didn't happen I'm really sorry hopefully you were watching the whole video before you started the build anyway that's kind of kind of the good thing to do how does this fence go okay so um, yeah, I'm gonna actually do the fence like this. I think this is a much better fence and just not have fence on top of this wall here This just looks good. It continues the 5x5 five five feel to the build Okay, now I need to do my backside. I've got to do wall at the back here. So uh, be right back when that is complete That's done. There is a cool little detail um, Which you can put on here, which I, I quite like um, on top of these you can put on some stone slabs. I like that. And then on top of these here, you can go for what I've got. There's an upper slab and a bottom slab. So it's a slab on top of those ones. And you do this wherever the houses are. And I think it looks actually looks quite smart. So that goes there and there. Same across here. I just I just like it. I think it looks good. So they go on there on top of the chiseled, and then that goes there. Durr. Um, there I guess that's as that's as far as you can do it yeah cool right so uh, we've got a little bit more to do we've got some staircases to put in the staircases are really really easy so let's just get the staircases done now we've got a staircase to put in here and I like to use uh, cobblestone in here like that for the staircase I think it looks quite smart when you do that There we are. Cool. Uh, and then that goes there and there. Uh, staircase for this one over here needs to get done as well. Now, what I want to do first of all is form one, two, three, one, two, three. Let me grab a little bit of floor and create this kind of little balcony here. Little balcony. Oops. Like that. Like the balcony looks quite smart. I would like some spruce. Oh, why are you not finished? Some spruce here. One, two, three, boom, boom. One, two, three, boom. There we go. Little balcony. And that gives you a place to put your, your staircase. It just simply goes up there uh, like that. That probably is going to get filled in. This is all going to get filled in with uh, simple stubble cone like that. staircase just bumps its way down there that can be a little door in there adorable so that is that that is pretty much the build done um, I'm gonna time-lapse the rest of this because it's just paths oh, oh 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 before you go before you go before I switch over to time-lapse let's just do the well <laughs> well done <laughs> I like it some I'm falling down my well. Let's put some water down here since we're certainly taking a liking to this well. There. There is the... Honestly, that's the coolest Minecraft well in the planet. In the world. There you go. Uh, yeah, let's time-lapse the last couple of details here. I don't want to be too prescriptive with this detail section, but you've got to put in some paths in. You can kind of figure out where they go. Over here, I just added some simple fences and on the inside completed the wall exactly where I wanted to start my storage system and then we're on to some little animal pens if you've got animals that like jumping over fences like horses and llamas I think you might want to make these double high You'll know that. 
few more paths. Wherever you want. This detail section, you should be adding flower pots, loads of flowers, bushes, anvils, crafting benches, all sorts of stuff. I added some floor detail, so you've got some uh, podzo and coarse dirt added to the floor, make it look a bit more farmy. At the back, to make it a bit more fortified, I've added in some fences. Again, sticking to the 5x5 five five rule with those little oak wood logs as well. Uh, at the back here, well, the front of the building, I've added in a teeny tiny little uh, balcony. Kind of easy. Only sticking out by two on the front wall there. And by three on the one next to the house. Add in some doors in sensible places. I think I do miss out one door, annoyingly, on this build. Never mind. Uh, added some more detail to the houses with spruce gates. Wrapping these all the way around. Alternating them in every three blocks with some spruce fences as well. Oh, look, I've missed out a gate. Never mind. Saw that out the corner of my eye. Did you catch it as well? Some more gates underneath that little... Uh, barn and some more gates up here on the second house <laughs> excuse me sorry that's really bad i don't remember to cut that sneeze out i'm so sorry people wearing headphones add in a gate i love the hinges i use dark oak uh, for the gate dark oak fences for the gate <laughs> door handles <laughs> i don't know i made this gate up honestly i make everything up obviously but there you go, very simple door. Here come the bushies. And that's it. Fortified farm done. I enjoyed this, it really was fun. In fact, I designed it on my live stream. So subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button and you'll see me design and incorporate your ideas. Oh, I did a flag there by the way as well. You see the flag design? Hopefully you did. Yeah, people in the live stream suggest you stuff and I put it into the, into the build and then I'm building it. So your suggestions could make it into my video if you catch one of my live streams. So hit that subscribe button, switch on notifications and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao in the box. Be with you.